Hello everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and I'm excited to show you this game from the top four of the War of the Ring World Tournament 2023. And I have already played one game against Circle Dakin. I was free people and I lost that game. If you haven't seen that video and you wanna see me making very bad decisions, check that out. Uh, I am shadow this game. So if I lose this, I'm eliminated um, from the tournament, though, it is nice because there's a bronze match. So if I if I lose this, I go on to play uh, Saved by Him, Jason, uh, in the uh, for the bronze. So you know, obviously, I'd like to win if I can, but there is a consolation uh, match if you end up making it this far and then lose. So all right, so I'm Shadow. This game, I have allocated one eye, rolled one more. I got my two musters. And free people got a perfectly reasonable starting roll, um, and no playable cards. No, no. Um, uh, sorry, this is totally playable. They just didn't get a palantir. So, all right, here we go. I got Nazgul Strike. That could be could be useful. Mustering Long Planned War. Almost never play that for the card effect, but happy to see Desperate Battle. Um, all right, so they uh, start by moving the Fellowship. I hit and get a two. So. Unlike me in my previous game against them, they lose Gandalf turn one, which is certainly wise um, against a two. Uh, the Isengard gets to war. I move from Baradur to Gogoroth. They uh, move the Fellowship again. They get hit again and revealed. All right, so going well for me. That was actually a two reveal because I got a six and a five. Um, both games have had pretty crazy hunts. They reveal into Holland and they take two Corruption. I muster Saruman, and then they move armies to Old Forest Road and Westamnet. And quite honestly, I'm I'm happy to see that because um, whenever there are two musters, I always worry a little bit that they're going to muster elves twice, in which case elves are only one away from war. And then if my plan is to go besiege the elven strongholds, they're going to be able to get elves in there before I besiege them. So I don't mind seeing that move this early. Um... I draw a character card because they are revealed before Moria, and I can draw anything like um, Nazgul Search, Nazgul uh, or Orc Patrol, Isildur's Bane, Foul Thing from the Deep. Any of those are quite um, useful cards. Also, something like Morgul Wound could be good. So um, I'm happy. I'm happy to have that, and um, that's how it goes. So they use Strider's ability to hide, and I already have. Nazgul Strike. So I certainly have some things that I can do to mess with the Fellowship. Um, they get Athalas really nice to get Athalas while Strider is still there, and especially if the hunt started off painfully. Um, I allocate an eye roll. Uh, one more. Okay. And I got Shadow is Moving and Black Captain Commands. These can be certainly useful cards. I'll need to get the Black Captain. Um, I got a good number of musters, so it's possible. They get turn two Gandalf. That's pretty nice. Um, you know, the way you get Gandalf is if you kill him early on and when you get hit, then you can get Gandalf sooner. That's a good strategy. I'm mocking myself for the previous game. The previous game, I kept Gandalf in the Fellowship way too long. Um, all right, so they move. They're safe this time. And then I play Nazgul Strike here because I have a decent chance of hitting them and a decent chance of revealing them. And then if they get revealed into Mordor, or into Moria, I can then hit them again with Isildur's Bane. So this is definitely some painful corruption for them. And sometimes that happens. All right, so I play Nazgul Strike. Let's see if it works. I'm also happy to sort of form up this army. Um, all right, so I do hit them. I get two hits. And I get a zero reveal. So obviously an eye would have been even better, but happy happy with any of these reveal tiles because I now get to draw an extra tile for Moria, which is a three. Ooh, very bad. Um, I think they're going to take it because of Athalos. Ooh, they take a random. Okay, so I could get Strider here. That is a little risky, but um, I get Mary. Mary goes to Dimril Dale. They take two Corruption. And um, they pass here because hiding is not useful because if I do have another uh, tile drawing card, then that will be bad for them. Um, I muster Sauron to war. 
I get my armies moving. What? No, I think I muster an elite into North Dunland. Why? I want to have this character die available to attack if they don't hide at all. Also, it's just some extra insurance in Lorien in case they get a... Um, in case they get Caliborn's Galadrium, it just means that this army is more likely to take out Lorien. And often, if you take out Lorien efficiently, this army can end up getting reused all the way back down in, oops, in um, North Dunland. I mean, in um, in uh, Rohan. So usually that muster can, can pay off. All right, so they think for a second. They play Athalas here. This makes total sense. And they heal three. So that's really nice for them, above average. And um, I move my armies, and now they get Gandalf. All right, so even though things have gone somewhat badly for them, they have managed to recover well with Gandalf turn two and um, three healing from Athelos. I move my armies along. I'm getting this army first because I want to leave these units in Moria so that I get two re-rolls in case they roll uh, at the beginning of the next round. They move, interesting, they move units around. They move a regular from Bree to South Downs, anticipating that the North may go to war, and maybe they're threatening Moria a little bit. I might have been tempted to hide the Fellowship there. It's a little risky, but like, what can you do? Uh, if if you don't if you don't hide it just gives me another chance to draw a character card. I'm just going to draw yet another character card at the start of next round. So I think you would rather hide now, hope that I don't have something that hurts you, and then at the start of next round you just move first thing. All right, I keep I'm like okay, I guess I'll keep moving my armies around. I'm happy to be able to get these elven strongholds under siege before they get to war. Uh, we recover dice. They drew Celeborns. Okay, that's a good top deck. Um, I allocate one eye, roll one more. That's a beautiful roll for me. They get this crazy will of the rest, will of the west roll, uh, which is really nice. I don't have the South Rons and Easterlings to war, so there's no threat of day without dawn. And um, yeah, that's just a beautiful, beautiful roll for them. They can do anything they want. Um, I wonder, is there a way to get? Strider? I mean, is there a way to get Aragorn and Gandalf? Oh, no, they already have Gandalf. Yeah, so they can like hide, move, move, separate, crown. That'd be pretty cool. All right, so they hide, and now I play Isildur's Bane, because this is my whole plan, and I have four out of uh, 12. I have a one-third chance of revealing them right here um, and getting an extra bonus tile. So that's pretty awesome, but I draw an eye. Sad, you know. I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing the odds. Like that's it's the right play on my part to do that. Um, they gave me an extra shot, an extra shot at um, a character card. I drew Ringwraiths or Broad, which is quite good. Um, so anyway, um, they're happy with that. They move now, and I hit them, but I don't reveal them. They take another random and um, get rid of Legolas, and then I move my armies around. They play Celeborns. They redraw through a day and a night. I attack into Old Forest Road, and I guess my plan is I'm going to get the north to war. I have Swarm of Bats, so I can cancel the scouts. I will attack into Northern Rovanian. I mean, I will attack into Old Forest Road. I will attack Carrick, and then I will attack Dale. And then I have... Um, A nice situation here and the and the elves are not at war the north is at war but i get the witch king this round that's interesting maybe it's better all right now i think i have to make this attack no matter what so i attack into old forest road i get a hit they get a hit and now i don't have enough dice to besiege woodland realm before i attack dale so if i don't get a six then this unit in Dale gets to retreat into Woodland Realm and I have to deal with it again. Not ideal, not the end of the world, probably. Um, it seems like they don't have scouts because I think they probably would have already played it, but 
All right, so I move armies. I leave one regular in Moria because I'm planning on putting the north to war, and I don't want this regular from South Downs just to walk in um, to Moria because they have such a flexible role. They they could do that. So I take Carrick. I get my army formed up in Dimmerdale, and um, then they place Meagle Helps Nice Master, and I attack Dale. I get my six, so that's nice. They get one hit back, and now... Um, the um, north is at war. All right. They form up in Helm's Deep. Okay. And I get the Witch King in Dale. And maybe this army in Dale is enough to take out Woodland Realm. I have Shadow Lengthens. So these armies in South Rune and East Rune, I mean in North Rune, can, can potentially come and reinforce in Dale at some point. Um, I also have a lot of flexible. If I if I roll Palantirs, um, I have some good options. So they are they going to declare into Lorien? I'm kind of hoping that they dec no, they're not going to declare into Lorien. They're just going to keep going. All right, Fellowship. And anyway, they weren't that far. They declare into Dimmerdale. Dale. And um, I got Morgul Wound. Fine. I mean, with with the play of Athalos and with this escape from Moria, um, and the Isildur's Bane missing. Like the fellowship is actually doing okay here, and so I think I'm gonna switch to a more military focus if I can. And um, I allocate an eye and roll two more, and they got three movement. Pretty nice for them, but I'm okay. This palantir is gonna be useful. I don't mind the musters at this point to get the southrons and easterlings to war. I'm still hoping to draw corsairs at some point, so I get the southrons and easterlings to war. They play axe and bow. Is that worth doing? Maybe. It saves you corruption. You're only going to move twice this round, I guess, is your plan. All right. Uh, I get the South Rons and Easterlings all the way to war. They muster Gondor towards war. Very nice. In advance of Corsairs is always good. And um, and they also have Aomer, so Rohan's going to be defended nicely if I ever attack there. And um, I attack Woodland Realm. I move everybody in. I'm hoping they don't have Thrandals. They don't. Gondor is now at war. I move armies. Okay. I guess I want to get these Southrons and Easterlings a little closer to the Witch King in case something goes wrong. I don't know. That seems a little weird. I think I would just attack... Do I not have cards to play? I have cards to play. Oh, I have Horde from the East. Interesting. Do you play that as the combat effect in Deadly Strife in um, Woodland Realm or or what? I probably play Desperate Battle. Okay, so I... Oh, I see. I, I understand what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just risking that they're going to draw Thrandals next turn. And instead, I'm going to... I'm sort of delaying this movement out of Dimmerdale because I want them to move. The, I don't want to give them, uh, I don't want to remove a reroll from the Fellowship. All right, so I play Horde from the East and they move the Fellowship now and uh, I hit them once. I get a three. They take one and now we're also losing a random. Okay. Strider. Yeah, so they took three randoms and they got Strider. This is exactly expected, uh, you know, this is average to lose Strider on your third pick. Um, it's obviously sad for the free people. Um, my military is going fast enough that I'm not sure that makes a huge difference. I then go into Lorien and um, yeah, I mean, I have a big enough army here to take out Woodland Realm. I'm going to take out Erebor. I'm going to take out Lorien and now... I mean, there's a chance I won't take out Lorien. Oh, I, I didn't quite notice. They they moved Marion. There was one point where they moved Marion with an extra character die. Okay, so they only moved once last round instead of twice. Yeah, I probably would have tried to move twice. They declare into Parth Celebrant. I um, drew half orcs and goblin men. That's obviously good. Um, they have Gwahir. Could be useful as the last stand of Gandalf. I allocate one eye. And uh, roll one more. And these Palantirs, I have very efficient uses of them. I have Black Captain Commands. I have Ringwraiths are abroad. So 
a lot of lot of useful things I can do with those. Um, they start by moving the fellowship. I miss. I attack into Woodland Realm. I'm just going to hope to defeat it. I'm probably playing Desperate Battle. Yep, they play Confusion. I get no hits against myself, but no hits against them. And then one hit. They get no hits against me. They, they were the ones who were confused because they rolled all ones. And I press because maybe I'll get two sixes and it'll save me a die. Um, Corsairs of Umbar. All right, so that's good to have drawn that. And now I really have a good use for my Palantirs. Um, they didn't draw any mustering and Gondor's at war. So definitely an unlucky uh, roll for them to not have any musters. I get my two sixes, they get one back. All right, so that was probably not crazy for, for me to get um, three three hits against Woodland Realm uh, with my combat cards. All right, they move the fellowship, they're safe again. So that was two movements. Now I get my armies ready to uh, take out Dol Amroth, to take out Erebor, and um, they accidentally draw a strategy card for me, but they meant to draw a strategy card for themselves, so that's what they do. And now I besiege um, Dol Amroth. So they could have used a ring there, um, you know, if you if you foresee Corsairs of Umbar. But, you know, is that enough? It's probably not enough to hold anyway. So maybe just hope to draw into Cirdan's ships. All right, so Dol Amroth is besieged. They move the Fellowship a third time and they're safe. So that is nice that they're not getting revealed here. There were many chances for me to reveal them on that. I think they take a random, yeah. So they lose Boromir, that's fine. And um, and now I think I play Ringwraiths are abroad to come after Dol Amroth to finish it before they have a chance to do anything. Yeah, okay, Ringwraiths are abroad. I leave the Witch King in yeah this is a mistake so this is a minor this is a minor mistake i should instead put the witch king up in iron hills so that i can take out erebor before dane comes as opposed to lorien because Celeborn has already been played so my my next target at higher priority should be erebor than lorien and also on top of that um, if I eventually draw into Balrog, I want to give myself as much time as possible to draw into Balrog, which is a very useful combat card that's only playable in Lorien. So this is a slight inaccuracy. I'm thinking to myself, because I have um, effectively nine, nine dice every round, three rounds, I have 27 dice to roll three sixes. I don't need to bring the Witch King and play any cards here. I just do four leadership there. So that's my thinking, but the Witch King and and um, the Witch King should be up in Iron Hills. All right, so they play a strategy card. It's Shield Wall. I get one hit. They get one hit back. I press. I get one hit. They get one hit. I press. I get one hit. They get no hits. So you know, with twenty-seven dice, the chances of rolling three sixes is pretty high. I don't know exactly what it is. Let's check. We'll have a little statistics interlude. Um, all right, so here's our um, situation. We're going to have five dice hitting on sixes. And we have four leadership. And those are going to hit on sixes. Let's see what we get. So expected... Oh. Right, we have to do this three times. I'm gonna add that plus that. So I just I just did the same thing and just added it three times. All right, calculate. All right, so expected number of hits is it looks like this sort of a distribution for for three rounds of combat. The chances of only getting two or fewer hits on that number of dice is only 14, 15 percent. So, you know, I, I want to take it out if things go badly and I, and I miss and I don't manage to get all of the hits that I need. I still have more attack dice. So I think that's my, that's my thinking there. All right. As it turns out, I got three hits. That's what I needed. And now, um, 
And now, right, see, now I'm attacking into Erebor, and if the Witch King had been there, I could have had productive attacks into Erebor. I could have played Mumakil. I mean, I want more leadership, but I could have. All right, so I attack into Erebor, and now I don't have, like, super productive things to do with these dice. I could attack ineffectively into Lorien. I probably will. Um, all right, so I attack in Lorien, but, like, I really want to be playing Mumakil as my combat card. The benefit of taking out Lorien sooner is that I um, I could uh, avoid power too great. So if they get power too great, power too great, it's nice to have defeated Lorien by then. So, all right. And now what am I going to play? I think I'm just not going to play a combat card. Um, all right. Interesting. I'm going to play Black Breath because whatever. I'm not trying to corrupt the Fellowship. I get no hits. They get one back at me. All right. Uh, they play Aomer, and now I muster an elite in Moria, thinking that I'm going to have to reinforce in Lorien. <clears throat> All right. Maybe I should have just mustered twice in Lorien. I mean, in Moria. Why bother? Oh, I see. I'm thinking I'm going to play Shadow Lengthens for the card effect and, and move these guys directly to Lorien. And then I can do something maybe with uh, these units in Woodland Realm. Yeah. Woodland Realm can come to Erebor. All right, Fighting Urk High is nice to see. Uh, they declare also Cruel Weather is very strong at this point. Um, I allocate one, I roll one more. They get two movement, and I miss them, but now I immediately play Cruel Weather, which is going to make it quite hard for them to make it to Mortar this turn. They move, and if they get hit and revealed here, and by the way, there is a huge number of tiles that reveal them, 75% chance of revealing them if they get hit. So 75% chance of getting revealed if they get hit, about a 50% chance of getting hit. So like 40%-ish of revealing them right here. Do I hit them? I hit them, two hits, and that's two reveal. So they're not making it to mortar this round. Thank you, Cruel Weather. And honestly, like my military is running fast enough that I can probably get to 10 victory points next round, possibly even if they did make it to Mortar this round, but certainly in three rounds, I'm going to be able to get 10 victory points. So this is, I think, looking very much in my favor at this point. Um, I muster another Elite in Moria. They muster in Lamadon, which is going to slow me down a little bit to take Pilar gear. Muster more in Lorien. Black Captain commands to get my full uh, Nazgul leadership. And um, then I attack in Lorien. They play Challenge of the King. Okay, sure. They don't get any hits. I get one hit against them. I'm still not... I'm not playing any card here. I guess I'm waiting to play Grand until next round. I'm just not in a rush. I'm just like, I'm going to take it very slow and easy. All right. I take my two hits. I don't really mind. I got one against them. And that's the end of Black Captain Commands. Now I'm moving armies around. I guess I'm getting this army from Minus Morgul to South Athelion. I have to be slightly careful of um, military victory attempts by them because I have empty Umbar, empty Dolgolder, empty Moria. So And Gondor is at war, and they have a unit two away in Pelargir. And uh, the, the North is at war, and they have a uh, regular unit in South Down. So if I have like a totally, totally insane roll next round, like all eyes, they could just walk in. So I, ha I have to be slightly careful. Um, so let's see what they do. They draw a character card. I have a full contingent in, in Lorien now, and I'm advancing this army from Minus Morgul to South Athelion on the way to Pilar Gear. <clears throat> and if... They had used a ring on the last action die to move uh, as an army movement to Holland and to West Herondor. I would just use my last die to muster in Moria and Umbar. So I'm not too worried about that. It's possible I could have a totally insane roll next round and they could just walk in, but I'm rolling nine dice. It's pretty unlikely. They play Guards of the Citadel to muster up in Minas Tirith. What else productive can they do? Not much. Um... No point in spending a ring now to hide. Just hide and move next time. I play Fighting Urukai to take out Lorien. Yeah, I mean, what can you do? 
I have 15 hit points against six, and I'm going to play a half orcs and goblin men. It's possible. So, so this is interesting. I have 15 hit points against six. Maybe I don't play half orcs and goblin men because I could just play um, play it up here and give me this give me this orc up here. Um, I think I end up playing it. I decide to play it because. Like, I just want to make sure Lorien falls. If they get power too great, whatever. I don't know, but I'm playing it. So it's, um, we come to kill. They play Daylight, but like, this is just a slaughter of Lorien. I get a bunch of hits. I have tons of hit points. So, okay, so they die. I mean, Fighting Urkai, plus we come to kill with five elites. I, I take four hit points and take out um, Lorien. This army is now large enough to go elsewhere, but... I used up some good car cards. I mean, I drew into Great Host. It's it's going to be really tough for them. All right. They draw Mithril Coat and Sting. Useful, but the Fellowship is just too slow. Um, they uh, I allocate one eye. We get we get that roll right. And then um, they get plenty of movement. That's fine. They hide. Um, interestingly, I only got one um, character die. So I can't... And no Palantirs. So I can't move... Nazgul and um, hide with, uh, I mean, and use Grand as the to start a combat in Erebor. So, um, you know, it would have been slightly better if I could have been able to do that. But, all right, so I'm attacking in Lamadon. They muster in Lamadon. I attack in Lamadon. They retreat to um, Wester Rondor, and then they get one victory point, um, moving to North Downs and then capturing Umbar. So, like, I have to muster, I have to, like, I'm probably going to, I mean, I have some chances of winning this round, but probably won't. Certainly need to defend against a military victory attempt. Um, they um, move the fellowship, and they're safe. I muster more in North Rune. I muster more in North Rune, and then um, I move Nazgul to Erebor. And my thinking is... Um, if I don't take out Erebor this time, I can take out Erebor next time. It should be fine. Um, they could have moved Minas Tirith to Asgiliath and then attack Asgiliath into Pilargir. Um, but I think they just have to hope that Erebor holds and then I get really few attack dice next round. Um, so they play Mithril Coat and Sting. I think that makes sense. Um, and now I play Muma Kill here. They properly play Daylight, but... I get um, three hits anyway, so that's pretty lucky. I, it doesn't. I don't think it really matters if I win this round or next round. Um, it turns out that they get two back to me, but that's not enough. And so I do four on a daylight against them in Erebor, and then I press and have. Um, I have a couple of choices. I have um, Stormcrow, which means I need to get one hit, or I could play Relentless Assault which means I need to get two hits. They, um, and if they have heroic death, then I have to get plus one on both of those. My thinking is I'm going to save Day Without Dawn because in the case of some horrible low attack roll next time, um, at least I can um, mitigate the chances of them destroying the ring by having, two day, by having Day Without Dawn so that if they roll like two or three Wills of the West, I can slow the Fellowship down. Um, all right, so I play um, Great Host here. They they do have Heroic Death, but I get two sixes anyway, and um, that's the end. So it's turn seven, Military Victory. They were getting into Mordor, but they wouldn't, uh, very unlikely, I think, to be able to destroy the ring. I mean, certainly possible. It's not impossible to get five movement with, um, with Gollum because you're not getting revealed. They have to dodge eyes until the last action, and then... Um, and they did have Mithril Coat and Sting, so it's it's theoretically possible, but pretty low odds of destroying the ring next time. And I think it would be really hard to keep me off 10 victory points next round. Um, so that's the game. Uh, let's look at statistics. So um, these are correct. I was minus two on fives and sixes. Um, but I, I got the rolls that I needed. I got the cards that I needed. Um, Fellowship had pretty hard um, hunt at the beginning. And um, I got Cruel Weather. 
so a lot of things, um, good card play. And then, and then just the combat worked out my way. Um, so we go on to game three, uh, and that will decide who goes on to the final. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.